Spiritual gift is nothing if your ways are not right with God. I'm Chelsea Doze, and you're watching Church Awake. Spiritual gift is not the seal of eternal life. You can have the gift of God and still go to hell. You can have the gift of God and still go to hell. God is not going to judge you differently from others simply because he gave you some gifts. The gift of God is not really for you. The gift of God is for his people so you can be a blessing to the people. That doesn't mean he will bypass you and judge others. That doesn't mean it's a direct ticket into the kingdom of heaven. If you are a prophet, you're gifted in prophecy, gifted in vision, you are gifted in healing, you are gifted in uh, tongues and interpretation of tongues, you are gifted in preaching, God will still judge you if your ways are not right. Your gift is absolutely nothing. You can deceive the crowd, you can deceive the people just by coming out and manifesting those gifts, operating. Oh, it's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing. But if you are in the presence of the people, a gifted man, a gifted woman, anointed prayer warrior, but behind your life is rotten, God is very serious and he's going to judge you. He is going to judge you. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 22 to 23, Jesus says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me ye that walk iniquity depart from me ye that walk iniquity that is a very hard breaking statement that is a very painful dismissal depart from me ye that walk iniquity the people that knew you in church will be standing and watching on that day the lord will say depart the crowd that you are pulling today so many of them will stand on that day and watch as the lord commands you to depart from his presence the lord is watching all of us you may be gifted in many ways if you are living in adultery repent now if you are living in a secret sin it is time to repent god is calling you unto repentance you can do all you want with the gift that he has given unto you it does not matter to him at all it does not matter like i said before his gift is not for you it is for the people he will still judge you wherever you are wrong on that day, many will come, Lord, in your name I prophesied, I called names, I gave accurate prophecies, demons obeyed me. Why? Demons will obey because the name of Jesus has power. When the demons scream at the mention of the name of Jesus, you shouldn't just rejoice, you shouldn't just start dancing up and down. Because the demon that ran at the mention of the name of Jesus may return to attack you after if your ways are not right with God. Now somebody might ask, if God has left somebody, why is he or she still operating in the gift of the Spirit? I will answer that question because there are a lot of people that God have left long time ago. But they are still performing miracles. They are still performing signs and wonders. There are a lot of them that God has left. Now, people are asking, why? How come? How come are they still doing these things? Even so many people that God have left don't even know that God has left them long time ago. They are just being carried away by the manifestation of the gift. They are just deceiving themselves because the gift is still manifesting. You know why? The book of Romans chapter 11 verse 29, there the Bible says, The gift and the calling of God is without repentance. When God has called you, 
when God has gifted you, he's not going to take it back. He's not going to withdraw. If you have lost the gift that God has given unto you because of sin or some mistakes, it is not God that took it. It is the devil that has hidden the gift that God gave to you. So anytime you realize yourself, you return back to the Lord, you fight the devil and take back the gift. God does not reverse the gift that he has given to a person. God does not reverse his calling upon a person. No matter how you have gone wrong, no matter what you have done, the gift remains there. The opportunity is there for you to return unto God and he will forgive you. He will continue using you. You will continue working with him. He will continue sending you places. The opportunity is still there, but you need to realize it. There are many that still have the gift of God, but they don't have God in their lives again. They think they are still working with God. The opportunity is there for them to, them to repent. People have been warning them. They have deviated. They have gone into so many other things that they are not supposed to be doing but they think God is still with them. So many of them are covering themselves under uh, the umbrella of the so-called uh, hyper grace that uh, the grace covers you no matter what you do. Deceiving themselves. The gift of God is without repentance. God will just sit and be watching. He will sit and be watching until the day you will face him in judgment without repenting. The day you will face him in judgment without changing your ways, that day the Lord will say to you, Depart, I do not know you, you workers of iniquity. Some of your church members will be there when the Lord will rebuke you in this manner. Some of your colleagues in the ministry will be there when the Lord will rebuke you in this manner. Some of the people in the same department that you are serving right now will be there when the Lord will rebuke you in this manner. How are you going to feel? How are you going to feel that you have the gift of God? You were known all over. You were powerful. They called you different adorable names. They, they respected you. But at the end of the day, the Lord said, Depart, I don't know you. You worker of iniquity. How are you going to feel? Now is the time to turn to God. Amend your ways today for someday. You will stand before God in judgment. You will stand before God to give account of your life. All those secret sins you are committing, thinking nobody is seeing, God is seeing them. You come down from the bed of adultery and still go and perform healing. To you, all is well. People are clapping, weeping, and praying to be like you, not knowing that behind the sin, your life is rotten. Not knowing that behind the sin, there is a polluted man. People don't know these things. But God knows from the bed of fornication, you come down and you grab the mic and you begin to preach. You speak in tongues. You do all manner of signs and wonders and miracles. Hey, God is with me. You are deceiving yourself. It is time for you to examine yourself. Check your life. Check your life. Check your life because... After all of these things, after all this manifestation of the gift and you end up in hell, hey, uh, the kind of demons that will handle you, the kind of, the kind of torture that will be meted on you will be too grievous. The kind of torture you need to repent. Change your ways. Change your ways. Change your ways. It's not time for gossip. It's not time to fight one another. Change your ways. For one day, you will stand before God in judgment. It is my prayer that on that day, the word you are hearing today will not be used against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help you to identify the areas that you have missed it. And direct you back unto himself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you 
in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, amen. And I want to ask you to please share this video with someone. Let somebody who have fallen asleep thinking that because he or she is still manifesting the gift of God, therefore God is still with him. Share this video. Let somebody hear this. Let somebody awaken. Let somebody be revived. Let somebody make a U-turn. The Lord is counting on you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.